I'm going to put on some mambo music and we'll see how it turns with that. Then tonight you can try it with your husband when they come home. Let's see, what have we got here? Tito Rodriguez, claves for mambo. Oh, pardon me, Carlos. You think I have the hip movement on us? Oh, that's fine, Mrs. Manicotti. That's just fine. You are going to be a wonderful mambo dancer. All right, here we go. teaching to do the mambo. Oh, that puts a different light on everything. For a minute there, when I walked in here, I didn't know what you were doing. Now I know, Carlos was teaching to the mambo. Oh, that makes a world of difference. Yeah. Everybody! <laughs> Out! The and it's gone! And you, at your age, should be ashamed of yourself. Now, Quits for today, you'll call it quits for today, tomorrow, next week, next month, and next year you'll call it quits. And as for you, Rudolph Valentino, out! <laughs> what is the matter with you, Ralph? What's the matter with me? What's the matter with me, Alice? I come home from a hard day's work and you're going like this, and you want to know what's wrong with me? Don't you owe Ralph me? How long has this been going on? Only a few days, Ralph. When Mrs. Stephen found out that Carlos was a mambo dancer, she asked him if he'd teach it to us girls. Oh, Mrs. Stevens asked him if he'd teach it to you girls. <laughs> a mambo dancer has to move in next door. It couldn't be a cook or a chef so he could teach how to cook. Listen, Ralph, what's so terrible about learning to do the mambo? Everybody does it now. Everybody does it, Alice? Everybody does it? Well, I don't mean everybody. You said does everybody does, does it. it. I don't know anybody does the mambo. I don't do it. Norton doesn't do it. My grandmother never did it. <laughs> Tell me everybody does it. All right, Ralph. Let's just not discuss it anymore We now. won't discuss it anymore. Your mambo days are over. You want to wiggle, wiggle over to the stove and get my stuff. <laughs> Is that why? Because the lesson lasted a little longer? I suppose every man in this building is going to have a cold meal, including him. Well, let me tell you something. I know whose fault it is. I know whose fault it is. It's Carlos's fault. And it's not only the mamba. It's not only the mamba, Alice. Not by a long shot it isn't the mamba. It's the other things he does, the fancy manners he has and he parades around with. That's putting nutty ideas in your head. Sure, Ralph. You think he's a troublemaker. Well, I have got news for you, Ralph. You and Norton and some of the men in this building can learn an awful lot of things from Carlos. He happens to be a gentleman, Ralph, and that seems to be something that you have forgotten all about. He treats us like women. That's something you've forgotten too, Ralph. You seem to have forgotten that I am a woman. I forgot that you're a woman? How could I? You're always yapping. <laughs> What do you mean I don't treat you like a woman? I treat you like a woman. I let you sew, I let you cook, I let you wash the windows, I let you clean up. Boys don't do that, Alice. That's right, Ralph. That's all a wife is to you, Ralph. Just a handy utensil to have around the house. A wife can cook and slave and clean for you all day long. You would never think of saying something pleasant to her. 
You wouldn't even think of doing a simple little gentlemanly thing like tipping your ass. Sanchez. Oh, oh, sure. He wants everybody to do the mamba and teach him nice manners. All I know is that Alice was satisfied with me for 15 years. Now she wants to change me. Oh, she's got a nerve. She's got a nerve. She knew when she married you, she was getting the worst of it. You can say that. <laughs> well, I'm telling you that if we don't put a stop to that, Carlos, every husband in this building is going to be in trouble. All right. Come in. Oh, hi, Mr. Manicotti. Hello, Mr. Crandon. My wife, is she here? Well, she was here a little while ago, but she left. She leave a note on the kitchen table. She's coming down here for mumble lessons. That woman is driving me crazy. All she think about is mumble. Yeah, you are, Norton. She's a crazy. Sure. All day long, she make her like this. She like that. <laughs> I told you that Carlos is going to get us all in trouble. Trouble? And my Angelina, she make her like this. She throw all the dishes off the table and everything. <laughs> Here, take a look. Yeah. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. You're just the guy I want to see. When I left, I forgot my phonograph. Well, come right in, because I want to talk to you. You've caused about as much trouble in this building for us as you're going to cause. It's all over now, pal. I want to tell you something. You've got some nerve parading around in front of our wives with the fancy manners. We have to eat cool suppers on account of your teaching them to mamba. Let me tell you something. It's easy for you, you know, to play Sir Galahad. You don't do any work. When you go to work, you dance. That's no work. When we go to work, we work. Dirty work. Just notice the difference between my hands and your hands. That'll show you the difference in work. The difference between your hands and my friend's hands. Oh, uh, wait a minute. It's not fair to compare his to mine. I mean, I got mine in water all day. It's... Oh, shut up. <laughs> now, I'm warning you. I don't want any more trouble out of you, or you'll get yours. All right, if that's the way you want it. That's the way we want it. Do you mind if I ask you fellows one question? If your wives uh, want you to do these few little things for them, why don't you do it? Why don't we do it? You want to know why we don't do it? Yeah. Want to know why we don't do it? <laughs> why we don't do it? Why we don't do it? Because it's too much trouble. That's why we don't do it. <laughs> too much trouble. That's why we don't do it. Well, perhaps I shouldn't uh, say this, but uh, don't you think your wives are worth a lot of trouble? Don't they go to a lot of trouble for you? Don't they cook and sew and darn and clean for you? Perhaps I look at things a little differently. After all, I haven't been able to find the right girl like you fellows have. But I know one thing. If I did find the right one, and she did all those things for me. I know I would do all I could to make her happy. Especially if all she wanted were a few little things like opening a door for her. Or putting on a jacket when I came to dinner. Well, don't worry, fellows. I, I won't give you any more trouble. <laughs> 